Chandu, the magician. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, the makers of White King granulated soap present for your enjoyment, Chandu, the magician. But before our story begins, we would like to ask a question. Do you shudder when you see the price tags on sheets and towels these days? Then those high prices are one reason for giving all your household linens White King Wash Day Care. White King has been a good washing machine soap, a good wash day soap for 30 years. Today, it is better than ever, actually improved in quality. You'll like White King because it dissolves so quickly and completely in your wash water. Because it makes quantities of suds that eagerly wash off surface dirt and wash out hidden dirt. And White King washes so quickly and so gently, it protects your household linens, keeps them new looking longer. Just try White King. We know you'll say... I love that soap. At the home of Princess Naji, Amin Mitkail, a Bedouin chief, offers his services to Frank Chandler in the place of Abdallah, his son, who died saving Chandler's life. A moment later, a servant brings in a girl who says she has a message for Chandler. She proves to be the singer from the Café of the Desert Moon from whom Chandler and the Regents had learned of Robert Regent's presence in Cairo. Her master, Ben Ali, has sent her to bring Chandler to his house in the Street of Thieves. When Chandler refuses, she shows him a ring, and Dorothy knows it belongs to her husband, Robert Regent. Before they can question the girl about the ring, she sees a face at the window. Crying out in terror that it is Arenye the spider, she runs from the house. Chandu, the magician. What was she talking about? Did you see anybody? Oh, sure. It is me. It is me. I have to help you. What's that noise outside? Uh, whoever it is, Abu and Hafiz will handle him. Oh, uh, sure. Can I? Bring him in here, Abu. I mean, Mitkyle will find out where the girl goes. He sure moves fast for such a big guy. He whipped out of here like a lizard. He Hey, will you look at him? Boy, oh, he's only about three feet high. The small one, she said. Ah. Frank, he's inhuman. As if some malicious artist had drawn him. Oh, no wonder she called him a spider. Don't let go of him, Abu. I have not harmed you. Tell these pigs to release me. What are you doing here? I have come to see that Hafsa reaches our home safely. No, oh, a big help you'd be. Well, if you came to take the girl home, why didn't you ring the bell instead of... Ah, you know I cannot reach up to the bell. Give Hafsa to me and I will go. Oh, don't be silly. She was scared to death of you. And I don't blame her a bit. You! <laughs> the time will come when you will crawl on your knees before Arigny to bring you to his size. I am Arigny the spider. <laughs> Frank, he's insane. Get him out of here. Not just yet. He's the answer to a lot of things. Uh... Yeah, hold on to him there. Don't let him get away. I don't see how that little shrimp could be the answer to anything. But a bad dream, maybe. He is, though, Bob. I'm sure of it. Arigny... You were Roxwell's messenger in Alexandria, right? Oh, you cannot mean he was the one who stole Robert's drawings in California. From our house? Well, he couldn't be. The switch that operated the Buddha over the stairs was way out of his reach. Yes, and that filing cabinet of Daddy's was almost as high as my head. I remember I wrote my name in the dust on the top of it, and I had to stand on my tiptoes. He was the one who received the drawings in Alexandria, though. He could slip through a crowd without anyone noticing him. Oh, but Frank... You know that sand diviner that came to Mena House said he'd search the messenger. Wouldn't he have told you if it was a man like... like this? Of course. That man had passed the drawings on to Arania in the crowd in the bazaar. No wonder Ahmed was fooled. You see, Arania, I know. Zip! You know nothing. You are imbecile. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Well, you shall see. <laughs> he shook something out of his sleeve. Oh, it's just a flower. Oh, there's a snake in it. Stand still, all of you. Don't move. It's a viper. Oh, Effendi, it, it is the most poisonous snake in all Egypt. <laughs> Stand still. Don't move, Betty. It's not a foot from her. She will die. 
Piper of the Nile, be still. You are like all forms of evil, without power except that which is given you. I give you none. Be still. You are helpless. Brother. Is it dead, Uncle Frank? Not dead, Bob. But it can't harm anybody. I'll toss it out the window. Oh, don't touch it. Look, I'll pick it up. It doesn't even move. No, no, no! Yeah. You are the devil himself! You cannot keep me here! Show me nothing! He went right through the window. Never mind, Abu. You'll never catch him now. I offended it. It was as if he had been a snake himself. Well, you couldn't help it. It doesn't matter anyway. I found out what I wanted to. You all right, Betty? I guess so. Darling, what an awful thing. Come along, we'll go upstairs. You... You don't suppose that snake will crawl back in here, do you, Uncle Frank? Mm, it's harmless now, Bob. You know, we shouldn't have said those things about the drawings before him. But I wanted him to hear it, Dot. That's why I didn't stop you. If Robert's in Ben Ali's house, I'll soon know. Uncle Frank, you said the next time you got on Dad's trail, I could go with you. That's right, Bob. Oh, but you're not going to that place tonight, Frank. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, Frank. Well, Robert may have given his ring to that girl himself. So I'd know he was there. Maybe that's why she was so scared. She thinks Daddy's a ghost. Come on, Bob. We'll get into Egyptian outfits and go. Huh? Well, if we went there like this, we might as well carry signs. Oh. Come on, before Irania alerts the whole native quarter. like that, Bob. Well, I'm trying not to, Uncle Frank, but I feel so funny in this outfit, I think everybody's looking at me. Nobody will notice you unless you call attention to yourself. Don't try to put your hands in your pockets, for instance. No, oh, I hope I won't. Gosh, don't these guys ever go to bed? Well, don't forget, this is the Street of the Thieves. It's always like this at night. Well, how are you going to find Ben Alley's house? Just ask somebody? The people in this quarter speak an odd dialect. I can understand it, but I wouldn't like to have to speak. Do you wish to know when you will die? No, Jeepers. Hey, he's speaking English. Do you wish to know all future things? No, no. Imtre. Wait, wait, Effendi. I know the meaning of numbers. I know the hidden meaning of the numbers. Three times three. Oh, you do? Then we will wait. Where can we talk? In my shop. It is here. Come with me. Will you sit here, Chandu? Why do you call me Chandu? I have been waiting for you to come. By well, whose orders? At the word of Yusuf in Alexandria. I am Batush. Batush? Oh, I'm glad to know you at last. No, this is Robert Regent's son. Hello, Batush. Batush has been a legend to me for years, Bob. He's worked for me all over the East. He never fails. I am honored to serve thy cause, Chandu. And you serve it well. Now, what did you have to tell me? The house across the street. Only three days ago, Ben Ali came to it again. You mean he's been living somewhere else? I was I at the back of his cafe of the Three Daggers. But tonight, servants went in and out of the house. And I heard them say there were evil spirits there. Hmm. Odd, isn't it? You have spoken. Is there more than one door to the house? Uh, no, no can do. The only way in is by the door, you see. There must be some way I can get in without Ben Ali knowing who I am. Mm, you went to Roxor's house in Algiers as a beggar, Uncle Frank. That might not work a second time. I know. How? I'll be a wandering holy man. Come to bless the place. They can't refuse to let me in. Wait a minute. You said you couldn't speak their dialect. Well, I won't have to, Bob. But two, you can come with me and see I can't speak. Really? No, believe that. There are a lot of such men bowed to silence. I, it is well. I, I am known to Ben Ali. But what about me? I want you, Bob, to stand in the doorway here and keep an eye on the house across the street. Notice everyone who comes out. Uh, okay. It's only a couple of steps I can't miss. But I want to know who they are. All these guys look alike. You'll know Roxo if he shows up. Come on, Batouche. <laughs> Listen, Batouche. Tell them I can't hear either. Let them loosen their tongues. I will. Sounds like a rainy. A holy man has come to bless this house. A holy man, come in. 
do not mock him. Ah, uh, but he can bless my wounds. See, holy man, my hand. He neither hears thy words nor speaks. Where is the master of this house? Ben Ali is not here. Uh, does this so holy man bless only the master? Uh, thou, thou art of Islam and yet ask that question. I am not of Islam. I am from far away, from the jungle. <laughs> but uh, let him bless me if he can. I have need of it. Only tonight my enemies would have killed me except that I flew through the window like a bird. Uh, how can such a man as thee have enemies? Do not speak of my small size. Listen to me, holy man. I have said he cannot hear thy voice, Ragil. Ragil! Ha! I am marrying ye the spider. The holy man does not need to know thy name. Where is Ben Ali? Ah, you speak to me as if I were a worm. <laughs> you shall hear. <laughs> it is well the holy man cannot hear thee, small one. Thou art evil. Ah, you shall hear. <laughs> ah, if the holy man knew what I have done tonight, <laughs> he would not bless me. Huh? Beware that he does not read thy thoughts. Ah, I do not fear that. <laughs> no, I will tell you. Chandu, the magician, is greater than this holy man. May certain more. <laughs> and yet, would you like to know what I have done to him? Huh? To, to Chandu, the magician? Speak. Oh, Speak then. Oh, you have heard of him, huh? <laughs> well, tonight I went to the house where he lives with his family. <laughs> you are listening to my thoughts, holy man? I am listening to thy words, and I like thee not. I will take the holy man away. Oh, well, take him away then. And if you can make him understand, tell him I spit upon holy men. Oh, I have cast a spell upon the house of Chandu. I stockhold. I say that I have cast a spell upon the mademoiselle of Chandu's house. <sighs> Is this true? Oh, vraiment. She mocked me, and so I have cast upon her the curse of the white flower. <laughs> <laughs> Now, before we say goodnight for Chandu the Magician, we have a bedtime story for all you mothers of small babies. A true story about White King granulated soap. We do not have to tell you that babies require lots of diapers and that diapers require lots of washing in rich, gentle soap suds. That means that mothers require lots of White King. Because the very same soap you like so much for washing clothes and dishes is safe for washing baby diapers, too. In fact, it is so very safe that many maternity wards of hospitals suggest that mothers use White King for washing baby clothes. White King suds are gentle suds. They wash baby clothes sweet and clean. And then all the soil and all the soap suds are rinsed away freely and completely in your rinse water. Yes, just as surely as you love your baby, you will love White King for washing baby clothes. Chandu the Magician is produced and directed by Cyril Armbruster. The makers of White King invite you to listen tomorrow at this time when the story resumes. Chandu, the magician. This is the Mutual Don Lee Broadcasting System.